I'm a Syrian who loves his country and, and who wants to, to, to play a role in contributing to his country and, and who wants to kill him to stop and, and who wants, you know, basic things like, like to people not to be scared of, of being humiliated or, or mistreated simply because they may have a position that, you know, someone in the government doesn't like. Okay. So, one of my earliest inspirations, there's this crazy story. I was in Kuwait, this is 1970s. So it must have been, well, actually probably early 80s. I come across this book, it's a translation. It has this title, Ana Wahua, which years from then, I find out it's Arabic for the original Italian, which is Io and we, I and him, a fascinating novel by Alberto Moravia. First published, I believe, in 1971. And so it was translated to Arabic and it was just amazing in Arabic, in the language. It was just incredible. I just inhaled it. That's exhibit one of the story. Then, now we're in, must have been, 1999 or maybe 2000. I'm working in Syria, the United Nations Development Program, and it, it's this building at the time that was situated in, in this neighborhood called Abu Dhuman. My mom actually worked there at one point. She wasn't working there when I was working there, but the point is it had a garage and this garage had been <laughs> um, transformed into the FAO, that's a, a UN agency based in Rome, and IFAD um, headquarters. Why, I have no idea. Point is, that's where it was. And the person in charge, his name is Nabil Mahani. Really uh, distinguished gentleman. But as far as I knew, he was involved with agriculture and food and the United Nations, and he was based in this garage. And I would come out of the building and go into the garage to visit him sometimes, because it was nice to talk to him. So when they were having this talk, and I was like, I read this book once in Arabic. I just wish other people can translate like this. And he said, what book are you referring to? And I say, Anawahua, right? Io Elui, I and him. And he says, I translated this book. I'm like, what? Oh my God. And, and suddenly this image I had of myself being transplanted in a world that I don't belong to, because I always thought of myself as you know, here, I'm the author, the poet, and I mean, what am I here? A bureaucrat, the UN, doing boring stuff. And here's a translator, <laughs> and, oh, 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 and there he is in front of me. And, and he wasn't just any translator. He actually knew Albert Morafa because his story was that his father had sent him to Rome to study engineering. And he ended up sending him directing. <laughs> then, then the world turns around and he goes back to the UN. But he knew him and he actually, so his translation came out months, only months after the original publication in 1971. So he, his came out, I think the, the original was in August and his was in November, which is absolutely crazy. And just superb Arabic, honestly beautiful. That's the story. And, and I, I should add, the story has a lot of um, erotic uh, scenes, but you would never have imagined meeting Nabil you know, here he is, this distinguished gentleman in, in this UN office. You know, he was worlds away from, from that. Yeah, so that's the story.